five different steps. Five different steps. In five letters. Can you give clear directions? Okay. To know what you're in writing. math and English? You can't assume he knows anything. So don't skip any step. Where's the, the process of encapsulation requires students to synthesize information and consider their communication carefully. Let's work out the problem and then we, we should see like how, he, how we should do it. She took up an entire piece of paper to tell Ben these steps. Her final product was only three lines. Students they seek to capture the essence of a topic or concept through an image, a phrase, or You're other concise or communication lines. tools. I'm the teacher. You're the teacher. <laughs> You're going to teach him how to At do every that juncture, over text students determine how to communicate their thinking about solving a math problem, how to reduce that information to its simplest form, and ultimately to convey information you? as a helpful no. text message. So treat this just the? The. Do we need the word the? No. No, because you were still able to understand what I was telling you, right? Encapsulation is great for the brain, but it's also fun to look for examples of it in real life and analyze messages that the media chooses to convey. When you first start teaching encapsulation, you may want to look at real-world examples of encapsulation in action on vanity license plates, in slogans for companies, or taglines for movie trailers or in social media status updates. That is, that everybody knows means multiply. Like how, write a multiplication problem here. How would I write a multiplication problem? Like you did that aha moment. So what can you use from this problem instead of that big word? Which is stretching your thinking. From one teacher to another, using critical and creative thinking strategies is about engaging students, deepening understanding, taking risks, in embracing the fact that everyone can become a critical and creative thinker. Thanks for watching.